<coughs> Jerry, why don't you give this one a try? So Rachel played football at the University of Texas. He's Rachel Flower, sole purpose numerology. Uh, profession numerology, helping people connect with their passion and purpose so they can live a fulfilled and productive life. She's been doing this for two years. She has been a school physics teacher in Thailand, teacher trainer for Burmese refugees, story coach for entrepreneurs and Fortune 500 executives, radio show host, retreat leader, meditation teacher, freelance writer for magazines and newspapers, aromatherapy, and lots more. Her husband, Benjamin, is an overgrown kid. Um, she doesn't have any animals, but she does take care of lots of neighbors, furry friends to get her dog fixed. Um, her hobbies and activities of interest include dance, music, pretty much anything outdoors, hiking, biking, playing in the snow, swimming, surfing, crystal bowls, mm -hmm. earth gym, great movies, and eating chocolate. Her burning desire is to travel to South America in 2016. Something no one knows about her is that she is a fire breather in the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games opening ceremony. And her key to success is passion, going above and beyond, and a healthy sense of humor. Thank you. That's me breathing, that's in 2000. Um, doing my fire breathing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Do you want the lights on? Oh, yeah, the lights could be on. Pull back. Yeah, I don't need to be here. So, yeah, um, do you want the next slide? I don't have a clicker, right? Okay. Um, yeah, this is a little bit about me. You can see some of my. That's Benjamin. This is a dog that we take care of, and this is just life in Tahoe. And, doing retreats and stuff like that. So, next slide. So, uh, numerology. Um, a lot of people don't really understand exactly what it is. So my, my job today is to help you demystify it and help you see how <coughs> practical and amazing it can be. Um, and how important your name is. You see, the understanding behind um, this form of numerology is that you actually chose your name when you were in the womb and broadcast it to your parents who thought they came up with a great name for you, but actually it was your idea. Because you were the one that had all this information that you wanted to you know, bring into this life. It was like your name becomes like a carrier signal, a homing signal for you to remember a little bit more about yourself. The trouble is it's a bit unconscious, right? We don't know, and a lot of us get a bit lost along the way. So what I do, and you can go to the next slide, is um, help you, <laughs> you see, we have these ideas about how life is meant to be, and then it doesn't work out like that. And a lot of us in the middle age, especially, we start hitting these weird, kind of like, who am I, what am I doing? And there's a numerological reason for that. And what I do is often I'm working with people to help them actually get back on track. Because a lot of the time when we lose the plot at certain times of our life, it's not a bad thing because we're re-evaluating our values. We're, we're taking stock of our life. And so the sorts of stuff that I do, birth charts. So when I'm working with somebody, the very first thing I'll do is their birth chart, which is the name that they were you know, basically registered with on the birth certificate. Even if it was changed later, even if it seemed like a mistake because Auntie Jo put a wrong spelling in it, like at the last minute or something, there is a perfection in all of that. And when I've, I've done about almost 300 readings now, so I've got a lot, of, even though this is a newer skill for me, I, it sits on the top of a lot of coaching and mentoring and, and healing work that I've done over the years. And this to me now, when I, when I do this system, it basically provides a map for me to know how to work with a client, whether they're a business client or, or you know, personal, whatever they're doing. So I'll start with a birth chart, then we might look at relationships, which could be family relationships, or it could be business relationships. You know, why am I not getting on with my coworker? Why am I fighting with this person? Why are we, why are we instantly attracted to certain folks? There is something in the numbers, and I'll be sharing a little more about the theory of how it works a bit later. Business, we can look at business names. Some of you here I've actually worked with um, look at business names and taglines. Um, we can talk about that a little later too. So I can also run 
We can do tests with emails and how if you have a certain email title that adds up to certain numbers, that you will get a better open rate for your newsletter, things like that. There's all these kind of things. And there's, my teacher has been doing this for 25 years. He lives in England. And he's done lots of split tests to find, like, I know this seems all ridiculous and woo-woo, but actually it, there is some really grounded research done on it, and there's some great <coughs> results, and they're starting to work with bigger companies now with this sort of stuff. Naming babies. That's something I've been working with a number of people. And name optimization is when we look at somebody's name and they feel that something needs to change. Or somebody's getting married and they're like, should I take my husband's name or not? Let's take a look at that. Um, or do I need to use my middle name or my middle initial? How do I put it on my, my business card? So I can do all of these things. Um, next slide. So um, what we get firstly when we're looking at a personal chart is we get these pieces of information. We start with what are the life lessons and challenges that you've come in with? We've all come in with certain things. Some of us kind of had a hard time learning at school, or we were very outgoing or very shy. Some people have a hard time with <clears throat> structure. I get a lot of information from these numbers that represent your life lessons. Then there's your gifts and talents. So these are the things that when you, when you really access them, and when you're in your zone, Hopefully you're all doing businesses that bring out those gifts and talents. So when you really get that, that's when your life can start to come alive. And I work with folks, many of them, who thought that they were doing what they wanted to do, but there was something kind of missing. And as we looked at their gifts and talents, there'd be this whole area of their psyche that wasn't being used. You know, I've had one lady that's going back now, she's going to start a TV show on cooking, because it's something she always loved but kept putting it down and she got so excited when it was so clear that that was a really good way to go for her. And it confirmed something that she already knew but didn't have the oomph to kind of make it happen because she was doubting. This gave her that confirmation. That is a gift. It is a talent. The goals, um, that's another piece of information we get. It's kind of like where your life is headed. So we can look at that and see where are you going? What is it that your life is about? And then we come into an the number that at the center of the chart, which we call the soul destiny number, which is really the life theme, the, the basically the kind of major theme that your life is all about. Uh, next one, thanks. So with a business chart, what we're doing is we make sure that your personal chart aligns with your business, your name of your business. You see, sometimes people are connected with a business, or they, they, they get employed, or they have their own business, but if the numbers don't match up, and their, num their business <coughs> is not in alignment with their own personal chart, there can be a feeling of disconnect. There can be a feeling of um, dissociation from their business. And I've seen that. And I've also seen certain numbers coming up. Body workers, for example, like Michael, often have what with an 11-2 combination, which has got a lot to do with structure and the appreciation of structure, which makes sense when you're dealing with physical it wouldn't surprise me, uh, Jim, if you had that as well, being an architect. There's certain numbers that come up in certain professions as I'm noticing. And I'm starting to see more patterns as I've done more and more charts with people. We can look at, you know, refining business goals, team dynamics, who gets on with who, how does that work? And, and a really good referral for me is to work with an organization where we start, you know, with some, some of the, the top staff and look at their, their connections with each other and their skill sets. Maybe somebody's in the wrong job, you know, they might need to move around in the team. We can look at the actual name, we can look at website addresses as well. This is something I've done with a couple of you too. We can look at the, the website address and see whether to use the .net, the .com, whether you write the www in front of it or not. And you might think, oh, why is it, this sounds kind of crazy, how can all of that be? But I look at all of you that are also working in frequency. Dale, frequency, photographs, light, color, it's a form of frequency. Brett, uh, Brad, sorry, um, you know, music, that's frequency. We're drawn to certain things, we're repelled by certain things. Sound of our name is a frequency. And we probably put less weight on it than we realize. And so I had a crappy business name for many years and I didn't really use it kind of instinctively. And once I learned this numerology, I realized why, because it was crap. <laughs> so, next slide. Uh, this is one lady that I've worked with. Um, she runs a big nonprofit, uh, which is Saving Dog 
dogs and cats all around the country. She's formed this kind of network here. And we worked together um, a number of months ago. And she was stuck. She was feeling like, am I in the right business? Am I doing? She was doing what she loved, but she was burnt out. And things were not gelling. So we had a couple of hours. And through that session, the very next day, it was like the log jam had lifted. She was getting phone calls. Things were going on, but on a deeper level. What happened for her was there was this validation of her direction in life. It's like, I am doing the right thing. This is what I'm meant to do. And she got re-fired up in her spirit. And now it's going great now. She's doing really well. Um, but it's just to say, sometimes we just need that validation. We kind of know something, but it's not quite like, mm, should I do this or not? And this, this just gives it a little bit more of a value. Thanks. So when we d I did the numbers for a town business exchange, thought you might be interested. They're actually really excellent. We look in a business there we get this triangle here. The foundation number is basically what you see when you first connect with the business. And in this case, the 134 is a very attractive, trustworthy number. So how are you feeling about being here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel, are we good people? Putting on the spot, huh? <laughs> on the spot. But, but it's, there is, these are actually some of the best numbers that you can have for a business. You want sevens, they're very attractive. They, they, they create that sense of trust and connection, heart connection and 13 fours. These are really good. So when I do, when I run the numbers for a business, we look at all of this and, and want to make sure that it's also connected with the, the people in the business. But these are really great numbers. The, the abilities of the business are basically what it delivers for people. And then the success is what those people then take away into their lives. So this is all about heart connection and authenticity. So that's pretty nice. And, and this is this foundation piece here is about trust and abundance. So pretty good. Next slide, thanks. Um, so I was going to show these are Jim. Jim was very gracious enough. Let me see how much time we've got. Um, four minutes. Four minutes. Jim was very gracious to let him look at his numbers, and I just wanted to show you, we looked at the name, name of his book. Sevens, really good numbers. Eights are all about grounding. <clears throat> Sixes are very creative. And then we looked at some taglines, and I can look at the numbers there, and we, we found some really good ones. You know, we'll see, he might go on and change that again, and we can work on it again. Sometimes you have a working title. But this is what I'll do, is we, and all these symbols mean something. I won't go into the details of that now, but I can run these tests and make sure that it's in alignment with the person. Next slide. And we looked at the numbers for you know, his, his main businesses, and this tagline, optimum performance with time to relax, excellent numbers. <coughs> this is all about attraction, trust, and structure. He delivers a lot of structure for people. He helps people get things going in the business. Great numbers for that. Next slide. Thanks. So my numbers for my business, I did the same thing. I help cre people create a certain amount of structure in their life. What are you doing? Where are you going? How do you get there? 13, 4, very attractive, creating a sense of trust. So, you know, business, we can look at the note. Thanks, Bob. We'll look at the next slide. Um, the gift in your name. This is a free gift that I have that I'm giving away on my website. And I run the numbers for that, the name of the book. Again, 7s and 13s, excellent numbers. And I did a radio show. And I offered this the very first time on the radio show the, a couple of months ago. And I got 60 opt-ins, right, just from doing that one show on, on my site. And you can maybe go take a quick look at the site. Next slide. Thanks, Bob. I can't remember where I got next. This is my name. When I do a personal chart for people, we get this, this kind of Star of David type thing where we get six pairs of numbers and a number in the middle. They all mean something, and this is the challenges on a physical and a spiritual level, which means basically your inner world and your outer world. And all these numbers have a lot of meaning. And my life story is tracked in these numbers. I could tell you, if I had lots of time, but I won't bore you with it, why these numbers are so spot on. They're exactly how my life is lived out. And really, my purpose is all about bringing people together. I do a lot of networking. I gather people. I lead retreats. Seven's all about heart connection. Sixteen is about bringing things in a down-to-earth way. Next slide, thanks, Bob. And this is the <coughs> website that I have, and maybe we can actually go there in a moment. I put up a website, and it's at soulpurposeneurology.com. 
And if you go there, I've got a video which explains a little bit about what I do. I've got some information on the page, and then there's an opt-in with this book, this ebook, which is free, and it gives people a lot more information about what I do, so they can come and they can get this free gift and kind of go, do I want to work with her or not? And they'll get a lot of information, and I also give them the tools to even do their own chart if they want to get a taste of it, even without me. And then if somebody does want to have a session, they're welcome to have a free um, introduction session with me where I can give them a bit of a, an outline so that they know how to work. And all of you can have that, any of you that are curious about your numbers. Whether you believe in this or not, I don't care because it works. All right? <laughs> I know it works because my business is doing pretty well, actually, on this, so I know it works. Do you want to see, if, I think I've got another slide. Oh, yeah. Um, so here's the sort of things, if somebody is having a baby, if they're looking for clarity in their relationship, getting married, looking at taglines, business names, emails, that sort of email blast, hiring team members, I can look at that. If people are just like wondering what the heck they're doing on the planet, you know, that's another thing. And if you're just looking for a, some sort of shift. And I know that Jim and I, I love, Jim provides something I can't, the, all the business structural pieces and so much. And, there's so much synergy, we're looking at ways that we can play more together because there's so much, as you can see, that kind of line there. But I don't know, can we pull up the website, Bob? Oh, um, possibly. Maybe we yeah. can take uh, questions. Okay, yeah, questions. And that's the free <coughs> gift. This is another, um, this website just goes to the same website. I made it easy for people on the, on the um, radio, decodemyname.com, and they could get their free gift like that, or you can go and get it by text. Put it on there. But yeah, questions. Yeah. Michael? Please explain how you get the numbers. I think that's what you're Yeah, the numbers basically, it's a, thank you, it's a different system than what most of you might have heard of with normal no numerology that you're used to here in the, in the Western world. It is, you know, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, and then they add up the numbers. Thank this you. is very different. It actually translates your name into Hebrew. You might go, what's this got to do with Hebrew? But Hebrew is a very ancient language which is very phonetically connected with numbers. And instead of just a letter going to a number, it's the phonetic sound that goes to a number. And then those numbers, I don't, um, in that chart where I have my name, each letter was translated into the phonetic sound in Hebrew, which then comes to a number, and all those numbers are added up around the circle. Um, and the technical side of it, you know, it, there's software that does that. I don't have to sit down and crunch numbers. The software will do it for me. But I've worked with a lot of folks. You'll see on my website there are some, I don't know, can you pull it up, Bob? Is it possible or not? Don't worry if you can't, it's no big deal. Um, but I've got some Working testimonials on. on there for people, because I agree, um, Jim, testimonials are really, really crucial. So a bunch of people that I've worked with and different things, whether it's a book title, whether it's just getting on with their life. <coughs> naming their business or whatever. You had a question? Yeah. Um, so you look at a name, say like the name of your company, Sole Purpose Numerology. Yeah. And you go through and you, you assign a number or, or I put it through the software. To each yeah. letter. Yeah. Is there anything that takes into account the font? No, the font's Because not that good. definitely, I mean... You oh yeah, that's another piece. It's like there are so many pieces that go together. So you've got the actual name, but then... Yeah, I mean, how the visuals, if, if you're on a website... The you did two fonts in the name of your company. Did you look at anything about... I'm not a graphic artist specialist, okay. so I wouldn't know that font. I could tell you the content. Okay. So the actual words. But yeah, I would want to talk with so somebody... So the font, you just kind of selected something that you thought looked good or Oh, whatever. for me, yeah. I didn't have, and I probably... And I, once I'm really settled with this, I will get a graphic designer and do it properly. I, all this stuff I just did myself. But there's no way to really apply numerology to, to the way no. you just look. No, okay. no, it's more, it's just the, the literal phonetic sounds. It's a sa It's related to the sound rather than anything else, yeah. Any other questions? Are there any bad numbers? Yeah, there's challenging. I would wouldn't call them bad, I would call them challenging. So certain numbers, 21 threes in people's lives, that they generally do things the hard way. And so if I'm looking at optimizing their name, we'll try and get rid of those 21 threes. And I've done that with somebody who's literally got two 21 threes in their chart, and everything is just tough. And you know, you know, one but one guy I know he's got four twenty one threes in his chart. He's super successful, but to get there, he's broken his body, he's broken most of his relationships, and he he's surviving now, but to get there, boy, it was hard. 
It's not your birthday, it's your name. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we, don't, we don't look at dates, we're looking at the um, the vibrational sound of your name. So it doesn't matter about the, your date of birth for this purposes, we're, we're doing more. So I know it's kind of like a bit woo-woo for some people, but the cool thing is, you're going to see more of this in companies. It's in England where I've, I've um, trained with. He's working with some major companies now there, and they're just starting to break through here in the US. And I'm one of only about 12 people in the US currently doing this form of neurology oh. professionally. There's about 50 who've been trained and only 12 who are really doing any business so far. So, you know, I want more people to be doing it. I'm going to be helping train people down the track. So, anyway, thanks. I'm sure over time now. Thanks, everyone.